guys, we're How Ridiculous, I'm Brett and this is Scott and we're working with MBN on the STEM Plus X initiative. Now Scotty, what is STEM? Mate, I can help you out with that one. Great. STEM is all about the skills required to learn science, technology, engineering, mathematics. And you know how you said the Plus X? Yeah. Well the Plus X is all about how we apply those skills to our personal interests. And fast broadband over the MBN broadband access network will just be key in learning STEM skills. It'll just mean we have access to things like online resources, tools and experts which we might not have otherwise been able to hear from. Now we're not just wearing this science get up for kicks today, we're actually going to show you one of the many cool experiments that you can do with your classmates. But kids remember, don't try this stuff at home with the props we're using, we're going to suggest some safer alternatives later on. Now Brady, have a look at this, what do you reckon mate? Solid or a liquid? Well if it's doing that, surely it's a solid. What if I told you it was both? Oh, you'd be crazy. There you go, look at that. What? Looks like something alien. Today, Brett and I are going to show you guys how to make oobleck fluid. And we're also going to teach you guys a couple of experiments that you can try to test out its amazing properties. Now, oobleck is made out of two everyday basic ingredients, cornstarch and water. When you combine the two, you get what's known as a non-Newtonian fluid which in simple terms is basically like saying it can behave like a solid and a liquid at room temperature depending on the pressure that you provide. To make oobleck you're going to need two parts of the cornstarch to one part of the water. If you want to have a go at this at home, I would advise four cups of the cornstarch to two cups of the water. So to get started we mix the two together like so. And I've got oobleck in the bowl. How good. So there you have it, we have a bowl full of oobleck. But when we do experiments at How Ridiculous, we take things to a whole nother level. Absolutely, let me set the scene for us. We've got two pools, two kiddie pools. One's full of oobleck, one's full of water. 60 litres of the best, yep. thank you very much. We've got two scissor lifts, now they go up. And we're going up. Yep, and then we're going to drop three balls down into the pools at the same time. Golf ball, cricket ball and a bowling ball. But if you're going to do it at home, just to keep it a bit safer, make sure you sub out the bowling ball for a marble or a tennis ball. Now Scotty, what's going to happen? What are your thoughts? Well, look, I think that this oobleck here, yeah. mark my words, when the bowling ball comes down, it's going to behave like concrete. <laughs> well, that's going to be good to watch, so let's get into it. Drop. 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 Mate, that was epic. Yeah, let's check that out in slow-mo. Okay, incoming golf ball versus water. Bang. Whoa! Look at the symmetry, that is beautiful. Oh. But you can see it just, it really went through the water quite quickly. And then bounced the off off the bottom of the pool and, and back down she comes. <laughs> okay, here comes golf ball versus oobleck. Oh. oh, yes. She just gets stopped. And I suppose that's just because it's just so, it's so much more dense than water. Well, especially when it comes in at pace, like there's a greater force, so it's dense, whereas if you can see it now, yeah. it's slowly sinking through. Yeah, so on, on impact, it's acting like a solid. Yeah. All right, now for the cricket ball, coming into the water. <laughs> yeah, Jeez. it's another perfect splash, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that dome. Okay, here we have cricket ball versus oobleck. Let's see if it's any different to the golf ball. It's a bit bigger. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh. Now the cricket ball obviously weighs a little bit more, but it did behave very similar. Yeah, it did. All right, time for the bowling ball. Oh, oh bang. She's just got so much power. It was more just destruction of the water, really. Yeah, yeah. All right, bowling ball versus oobleck. Here comes the big guy. Oh, yes. Bang. Oh, check out the ripples. It's out of frame, the bowling ball. Where's it gone? Bounced. I mean, we didn't get anything like that with the other two. No way. And look, you can see there's a bit more going on on the surface here. There's obviously a lot more force that it's having yeah. to absorb. Yeah. But it absorbs it and it sends it back where it came from. <laughs> I know. Now, Brett, I reckon we've got some great results today. Yeah. And Oobleck has to be some of the coolest, weirdest stuff we've worked with ever. Absolutely, Scotty. But one of the coolest things, I think, is that the science behind these experiments is applicable for real life 
jobs like engineers, scientists and even pilots. One important application of density is actually determining whether an object floats on water or not. Now you can imagine how important this must be for engineers when they're designing ships and submarines. It's interesting stuff, hey Scotty? And that's what STEM is all about, providing opportunities for learning more about science, technology, engineering and mathematics, and understanding how we can use these fields to solve problems in the future. And look, there's a world of STEM to be discovered online and for you guys to check out. Well, we're going to have to start cleaning up here, but if you want to learn more about the world of STEM and the NBN STEM Plus X initiative, head to nbn.com.au slash blog.